If you're not getting any replies on your cold email outreaches, it's probably because you're sending your emails to generic email addresses like info at companyname.com rather than directly to the owner's email address. If that's the case, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you how you can find any owner's personal email from any website using AI and automation. So we're going to use make.com to make this AI and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And after this video, you'll be able to find any owner's email from any website whatsoever on complete autopilot. In the description below, I've also put a document which contains the prompt that I'm going to use in this automation, which is completely available for free. But I will recommend watching the whole video. Don't skipping a single part because otherwise you will get confused or make a mistake within the automation. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. In this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how you can create an AI automation within make.com, which will scrape URLs. And then furthermore, find the owner's name, find the basic email, find the personal email, the first phone number, a second phone number, if it is there, some additional info to create a personalized opener in your outreach and also going to verify the uh, personal email to make sure that you're actually sending an email to a valid email address. Um, and this is all on autopilot, okay? So obviously when you're scraping the web or finding lead information, right, you always come across, uh, yeah, email addresses. But most of the time it's like an info at email address, right? So uh, just if we can find right here. So rather than doing this all manually, you can do this all automatically. So uh, that's the whole point. So just to uh, look for here, so more maybe schedule a free consultation. Yeah, so it's almost impossible to find the the, e the email in this case e either way, uh, but it's probably like an info at, uh, info at structureturaremodeling.com, right? And once you send an email to a generic email address, then you will not get any responses. So you need the owner's email address in order to actually, yeah, to actually get a response, right? So this is what the uh, this AI does. So I'm going to run it once to show you how it works, and then I'm going to run you step-by-step um, how to build it. So as you can see here, it requested uh, an HTTP request. Then uh, we used AI to find the email's name. Uh, we used Neverbounce to validate the email address. And as you can see right here, now we have the info. So we know, okay, Kobe is the owner's name. The basic email is info at structureremodeling.com. The personal email is uh, with Kobe in front. The phone number, the second phone number is not found, and then some additional information. Uh, and we also have verified if it's valid or not. And as you can see here, the email is valid. So this is all automated. What you can actually do even is if you have a list, obviously with different URLs, you can scrape them all at once. So um, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's pretty automated. So let's just dive right into it. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how this works. It literally takes five to 10 minutes. So stick to the end of this video. Um, so what you need to do first is go to make.com and make an account, all right? So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. You want to make an account. If you don't know what make.com is, it's basically an automation software without coding where you can build AI agents or AI automations like I'm going to show you right here. So if you do not have an account, you just say get started for free. Otherwise you're going to log in. And once you've logged in, you want to just create a new scenario, okay? And within the scenario first, we want to put a Google Sheet. So you're going to create a new Google Sheet within your drive, which looks something like this, um, with a URL, owner's name, basic email, personal email, phone number, phone number two, additional info, and verified yes or no, all right? So this is the these are the headers that you want to give your sheet. So what you're going to do then, I'm just going to delete this, is um, to go to Google Sheet and then search down and then search rows, all right? Search rows. All right, so then you just want to select from Drive. And if you cannot do that, then it means that you haven't connected your Google account. So you just want to press add and follow the steps in order to uh, attach your Google Sheets. So the spreadsheet, you just want to call it basic URLs because that's the name right here. Basic URLs, there you go. Sheet name, just sheet one. And then uh, here, table contains headers, yes. And furthermore, you're all good, so safe. All right, pretty easy. Pretty easy from now. Okay, so the next step that we're actually going to do is an HTTP request, which is basically going to scrape the website. So just to zoom in a bit, you want to press the add and do HTTP and then make a request, all right? So the URL is actually, you want to map this. So uh, you want to go to here to a URL, there you go. The method keep on get, and then furthermore, you don't have to do anything, so just save, all right? And the next thing that we need to do is text parser because we now, from the HTTP request, you don't have to get it, but you'll get a HTML output and we want to transform that into normal text output, okay? 
So uh, it's called parser, I think. Yeah, there you go. And you want to press HTML to text. There you go. And then the HTML is uh, data, I think. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, so it's data. So you just want to press data right there and then press add. If it's going to give you a yellow thing, just, just, add, it a, just add it a couple times. And if it's going to keep being there for some reason, then no worries, it, it doesn't really matter, all right? Next is the open AI. And this is the fun part because now we're going to add open AI to, um, yeah, basically get all the info, right? So I'm also, I also made a prompt for you guys, which you can find down in the description, um, which I will basically give away for free. You don't have to pay for that. Um, so you don't have to create the, um, the prompt yourself. So then once you've opened AI, you want to do create a completion right there. You want to add your open AI account. It may be that you want to uh, make a Google API, uh, sorry, a ChatGPT API account or open AI uh, API account. And then you want to press ChatGPT completion model. I would recommend 4.0. So 4.0 system. There you go. There you go. And then you want to press add message. And here's where we're actually going to add the prompt. First of all, the role, you want to be developer and system. And then the text context is actually this. So you just want to copy this all out. I have it copied here as well. So I'm just going to grab it from here. So go down in the description, uh, get your document. And like I said, it's able, uh, it's available for free. So no worries about that. So you just want to copy this and paste that into there. All right. So it's basically what it's going to do. Yeah. You don't really have to understand it, but it's just basically going to, we tell him what role he needs to play and then what kind of output we want. So full name or not found business example, personal example, and then also how he's going to uh, find the email because most of the time when we have, for example, um, an info at domain of uh, info at business.com uh, email address, 70 to 80% of the time, the owner's email is actually just uh, owner's name. So Enzo at uh, structura remodeling.com, for example. So what the AI does is it's going to find the name of the owner. And then based on that information, it's going to do name owner at structura remodeling.com. And 70 to 80% of the time that email address is correct. Now let's say it's not correct. That's why we have never bounce, which is going to verify the email so that we make sure we only send emails to valid email addresses. So 70 to 80% of the time, it's going to be right. And that's why I think it's super cool um, because there's no other way to do it this fast. So basically what you want to do is just press that and that's all good. And then here you want to, here's the data to extract from. The only thing that you need to do is delete that and put here text, all right? So that it knows where to scrape it from, all right? So now what we want to do, and this is a very important step is go to show advanced settings and response format. We want to actually be in JSON because when we have it in JSON, we are able, or the AI and the automation is able to put it into the Google sheet, uh, cell by cell. All right. So go to show advanced settings and response format, do JSON object. All right. And then parse JSON response. Yes. Okay. That's it safe. So the next thing that we want to do is actually update the row in Google sheets. So now what we want to do is go to Google Sheets again and then update a row. And then again, you want to choose your file, which for me is basic URL uh, because that's what it's called. And here we want to basically map the data. And what we need to do now is row number. You first want to map that to row number right there. And now we want to save this because we need test data from ChatGPT in order to map it because now we don't, if you can see right here, we don't have uh, any outputs of open AI. So what you want to do is just put a random URL in there and already let it run. So first of all, save it and let it run once. So now it's just going to do all the extraction. Okay. So now we have uh, results from open AI. So now we can actually map it out. So the URL you can keep open, right? So there you go. Uh, then the owner's name, you want to map that basic email. You want to map that personal email, you want to map that. Uh, there you go. Phone number, want to map it. Phone number, want to map it. Additional info, want to map it. There you go. Easy as that. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is add Neverbounce. So Neverbounce is basically a software where you can uh, verify an email address to make sure it's valid. Um, so what you want to do then is just add another module and press Neverbounce and then get an email verification, all right? So then what you want to do is just add your Neverbounce API key. Now, how you do that is go, you go to Neverbounce 
So it's right there, Neverbounce. Uh, you can use any other software, but I would just recommend using Neverbounce is the best. So if you don't have an account, you want to register, otherwise you want to sign in. Then go to integrate on the top and then create a new app. You can call this whatever. <laughs> I'm going to call it whatever. Um, and then select app type custom integration and then create app. And then you press that one. And if you press the, the arrow down here, it's going to give you the API key. I'm not going to press it because otherwise you can steal my API key, but you can just press that, copy the API key, go here and then add a connection and then put your API key right there. Okay. Okay. So then within Neverbounce, you just want to, with the email, you want to press under open AI, you want to press personal email right there. So it's going to verify, then leave everything the same. And now what we want to do in Google Sheets, actually update a row again, but then rather than everything, you just want to have the last column, which says uh, verified yes or no. Because now we want to make sure that we get an answer if the uh, email is verified, yes or no. So go sheet name, sheet one, row number. You want to press, go down, and then row number right there. Typical contains headers, yes. And then you want to all the scroll down, and then verified, yes or no. And here you want to add from Neverbounds, add the result. And there you go. And now we're done. So make sure to save it on the bottom. And what it does is, like I said, so what we've built right now is you have the URL right there. It's going to find the owner's name, the basic email, the personal email, the phone number, some additional info, and then it's going to verify if it's verified or not. So if we want run it once more, there you go. So now, as you can see right here, the email that we found right here is valid. So that's pretty cool. And if it's not valid, it's going to say unvalid, right? So this is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you want, similar automation like this, then I would highly recommend joining the AI Agency Lab, which is my school community, where um, I've built a like-minded community of individuals who want to scale their agency to uh, seven to 11 and a half thousand dollars per month. I actually guarantee that right here. So I guarantee seven to 11 and a half K in MRR in the next 90 days. Uh, what you'll get inside it's pretty cool. So you get unlimited Go High Level sub accounts, which is worth five hundred dollars. You get your free N8N account. N8N is basically a similar software to Make.com, but then a bit more advanced, um, where you can do a bit more stuff. So it's pretty cool as well. Um, you get a course in the classroom where I explain step by step how I got myself to eleven and a half k per month with my agency in just three weeks. Uh, we have multiple weekly group group coaching calls. You get a one to one coaching session with me. Uh, and like I said, the access to community with like-minded individuals, you get proven frameworks, new AI systems to upsell to your clients for one, two, three, four thousand dollars every single week. Um, and yeah, 24 seven access to ask me any question you want, and you can just start get started for $99 a month. So if you think this is something for you and you like my content and you want to learn more how you can actually skill and be guaranteed this amount of money in the next 90 days then go down in the description, join my community and love to see you inside. Furthermore, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The prompts are in the description below as well. If you have any questions, comment down below and then I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.